The so-called National Biosafety Laboratory, Wuhan P4 Institute in Wuhan Institute of Virology, has a three-tiered background. One of the most important people in charge is from Gu's family. Another one came out with the surname Guo. It was said that the surname Zhou was not the most important one but the surname Guo was the most important one who is from Hubei and has given many speeches in the military, especially at party school of the CCP Central Committee. He said, China has to be prepared for a massive and devastating war in the world. And one of the best ways to do that is for the Chinese to change their thinking to go from what is called climate warfare to biological warfare, including geographic warfare also called geoses which is to change your whole geographic landscape, to engage in earthquakes, biological warfare, and climate warfare. This man speaks the most. He's already on the West radar. The National Biosafety Laboratory, Wuhan P4 Institute in Wuhan Institute of Virology is controlled by this man behind the scenes and his background is in the CCP's military. He has said many times that to deal with the recapture of Taiwan, Taiwan must be put in a kind of unrestricted warfare to the point of demanding reunification and must be reunified. He even said, half of the people in Taiwan should die and Taiwan will naturally return to the motherland. The best way to do that would be to have a natural disaster in Taiwan. He then said, the most suitable thing for Taiwan to have a large scale is the so-called climatic disaster, which is also called climate warfare. Make an earthquake in Taiwan, make a typhoon in Taiwan, and make a rainstorm in the air in Taiwan. That's the guy's blanket doctrine. After 2018, his most frequent doctrine is that it would be better to have an epidemic war in Taiwan like the one that is happening today, in Wuhan also called bacteriological warfare or biological warfare to destroy more than half of the Taiwanese people. The demographic structure of Taiwan is not extremely old but on the middle-aged side. He said that once this happens in Taiwan, his so-called biological warfare, Taiwan will inevitably return naturally. In the case of Japan, he used to clamor, don't fight a kinetic war when necessary against powerful countries such as Japan and the US change your thinking and use climatic warfare, physical warfare, and biological warfare. And that's what that guy brought it up. Only the devilish system of the CCP and its ambition to unify the world can produce such fanatics.